really confident with the ball at his feet too. That's a decent effort into the middle. It's loose inside the penalty area. Just gets a little bit confused, but picked up on the edge of the box by Williams. This is going to be Ruben Curley. Curley's going to get it away to the right-hand side as he, as he gets the pass away. He is working uh, alongside McAllister. Here comes the effort from Fletcher. Struck well. The wall does its job. Fletcher with the stop and go, gets the cross away, two chance at the back post, and Manchester United been playing just a couple of minutes as this ball is into the penalty area. Dangerous one hit goalwards, but Eli Harrison in a really good starting position. Taken with all the players, and you feel as if he's accepted. And chance here for Ethan Wheatley, who's managed to get in behind. Flag stay down, Ethan Wheatley with the effort, it's off the post. I think the keeper's done just enough, Merrick, to turn it onto the post in the first place. Everyone expecting the flag to go up. Ethan Wheatley expecting to bury it. Instead, the woodwork gets in the way. Yeah, we've seen him do that so many times, haven't we? When it's tight angles and he gets a... With the throw. I think comes into space and Curley leaves this for Fletcher. Whips a left-footed effort in. Jack Fletcher. Crossfield ball is a good one to run him. Run him up to the edge of the penalty area, gets his shot away, takes a big deflection off Louis Jackson too. That was a slightly misplaced. It's a good challenge as well. Really well done from Jack Kingdon. And now a chance for Ethan Wheatley in the penalty area. And Wheatley opens the scoring in the national final. Ethan Wheatley, what a breakout season. He is having two Premier League appearances and another goal in another final. Chelsea nil, United won. Yeah, they made a great start to United in this first 20 minutes and uh, that culminating with that goal there. As you say, a good challenge here from Kingdon coming in. Williams slots it through to Wheatley. Doesn't really need much time to just assert where the goals are, sets himself up, slots it away with his left foot. All started from that tackle on the halfway. That's a neat ball forward to find Russell Denny comes back, and that's a real opportunity. Fire goal with by Tyreek George, and a brilliant stop. Jack Kingdon, which is a little unusual. It comes out here. Tyreek George just laces through it. Brilliant block. Chelsea trying to start brightly. Header comes across where it's cleared away by Jackson. Only as far as Russell Denny. That's a good delivery into the penalty area, it's 1-1. While well, Manchester United find themselves in an awkward position, the cross is a decent one, and Achiampong scores the equaliser within 90 seconds of the restart. Chelsea 1, United 1. Equalising, good ball in the dead ball line, and Achiampong was up higher there, basically, basically had to get to some connection, does do. Manages to beat Harrison, gets his side back in the game. Here it comes. Deep one towards the back post, headed back across goal. Down. Callister takes a touch. Shot comes in. No power behind it, really. Blue shirts pouring forward here as well. Tyreek George through to. That is a brilliant effort. As it came through to Donnell McNeely, he gets the shot away. Put down by Reuben Curley. Squeezes it out to the right-hand side. Wheatley's got himself back on. Now into the penalty area. Wants to pull it back here. Ethan Wheatley finds Fletcher. Fletcher with the effort. Chance for Williams. It's a goal for Williams. Brilliantly turned home. Manchester United just pushing Chelsea, pushing Chelsea. And Williams managing to apply the finishing touch. 2-1. Yeah, dropped kindly to him there. Fletcher gets the initial shot. I think it was going in, it got blocked. Wheatley does well when it's cut back to Fletcher. Strikes it. Looks like it's going in, keeper's diving, but Williams is on hand really just to pounce on any ricochet that comes up. Has a quick glance over at the linesman to look to see if he's on one side. Brilliant. Actually, uh, box, but they managed to get it out. Intercepted. Scanlon. 
We've seen an opportunity here, James Scanlon. He's still going. Ethan Wheatley in the penalty area. Pulls it back. One way, the other. Oh, it's brilliant from Wheatley. And he's so unlucky not to have managed to found the finish. What an effort that was from Manchester United, number nine. Almost got another goal. Keeper just about getting something on it. Harrison still going. Chelsea trying to uh, create a spell of possession. Manchester United unwilling to let them do that. And again, the goalkeeper, Merrick, just keeping a track on Tyreek George at the moment. There he is, Devaney. Although George has got away. Can have a go from distance. Parried. Strong and uh, down quickly. Eli Harrison to turn it around his post. Well, quite good, the uh, Chelsea midfield player, number 10, George. Works his win on his right foot. That's a good save because it's probably... Really. Delivery into the penalty area. Claimed brilliantly by Harrison again. There's one of the potential substitute here for Manchester United, and that would be Biancheri, who is currently on the bench. It's a lovely ball into Antwi. Antwi's going to pull it back. It's brilliant. That's a great challenge from Jacob Devaney as Donnell McNeely look, work so hard for each other, this Manchester United side. Not sure what more Ethan Wheatley could have done there with two or three Chelsea players around him. He's done brilliantly there, though, to win it back. This is a real opportunity for Manchester United. Ethan Wheatley! Wide. Oh, he's got Jack Williams here as well. Could have gone one of three ways for United with queuing up. McNeely gets it out to the right-hand side. Ampa. Oh, that's a lovely ball into the penalty area. It's just not been read by the forwards. Ian Carey closing down. Chelsea in a little bit of bother. Back onto his feet he gets. Goalkeeper has to recover. Well, it wasn't a foul. Sharp chasing it. It's another slip and another chance for Manchester United to move it forward here. Curley. Switches the play, brought out of the sky by Wheatley. Wheatley gets the shot away, parried by the goalkeeper, but parried away from the waiting. First touch is great, gets it out of his feet, shifts it a little bit, gets the an angle. By two goals to one, as it stands. Could be adding this to the list of trophies if they deal with this situation, which they do. Snap. Red shots behind the balls, getting closed down. A couple of nibbles there from Louis Jackson. Headed down, he's going to find Wheatley. Wheatley's going to try and get up the field again. He's going to get there to Ethan Wheatley. Could he put the finishing touches to this? Ethan Wheatley through one on one. Ethan Wheatley's put it wide. Well, Ethan Wheatley has had three or four opportunities to seal it all up for Manchester United. The ball up, just tries to bend it round the keeper. In that far post, just a couple of yards wide. And I think he's uh, also got a little bit of um, a little bit of an issue here. Maybe, maybe a bit of cramp in that left leg. Oh, Reuben Curley, lovely and strong. Reuben Curley's got a gap. It's opened up for Reuben Curley. Is he going to have a go? Goes the other way. Reuben Curley to finish it off. Bian Carey, no. Denied. Referee blows the full-time whistle and Manchester United are crowned champions of the under-18s Premier League. They've won the national title and look at the celebrations.